Hey, hey guys. guys, we hope you had a great Thanksgiving break. In just a few short weeks, first semester will be over and we'll get to enjoy the holidays. Until then, enjoy this edition of the Friday Show. Attention student council members, we are in need of bell ringers on Saturday, December 9th, Monday, December 11th, and Tuesday, December 12th. Come by Mrs. Graves' room and sign up for a two-hour shift to help those in need this holiday season. Youth Alive meets in Miss Suggs' room on Wednesday mornings at 8 o'clock. This is a student-led group that encourages each other, prays for one another, and looks deeper into God's Word to apply it for today's teenagers. Come join us. Sometimes we even have donuts. The Festival of Trees Canned Food Drive 7th Hour Class Competition is the week of December 11th through December 15th. The 7th Hour Class with the highest cans to person percentage will get pizza. The drive benefits local food pantries who are in desperate need, so fill your 7th Hour with donations. We are looking for a family to host a German student for two weeks in February. The dates are February 10th through the 24th. His name is Vincent and he's 16. See Ms. Johnson in room 1507 or see Ms. Flynn for more details. Congratulations to the yearbook, newspaper, and TV students who attended nationals in Dallas, Texas. Our journalism programs at WHS make us proud. The library and the help desk are open until 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday. We conducted our first seatbelt check this week for the It Only Takes One campaign. 177 student drivers and passengers were observed in the back parking lot after school. 136 students were buckled up properly, while 41 were not. 77% of our students were following the graduated license law for the state of Missouri and had their seatbelts on, while 23% did not. We can do better than this, Blue Jays. Our goal is to be recognized by the state of Missouri by having 91% or more of our student drivers and passengers buckled up. Another one of our goals is to not lose any member of our Blue Jay family because they chose to not wear their seatbelt. Remember, seatbelts save lives. We want you to arrive alive. Be safe, Blue Jays. Congratulations to Autumn Osha, Austin Lewis, and Tess Marquardt. Their story package titled Digital Footprint took home fifth place in the National Scholastic Press Association's Broadcast News Story of the Year contest. Show number two of Blue Jay Journal TV is ready for you to watch. Visit www.bluejayjournal.com. If your teacher shows your class show number two, tweet us at Blue Jay Journal for a chance to win a prize pack for your entire class. Just tweet us your teacher's name and class hour. Order your yearbook for $55 while you still can. Prices go up after semester. Pay with cash or check to Washington High School in Mrs. Manolis' room, 1310. Emmy and Jessica are having a dine to donate on Wednesday, December 6th at Applebee's from 4 to 8 p.m. 10% of all proceeds will go to the Make-A-Wish child, Laszlo. Also, Make-A-Swish t-shirts are on sale. Get your order form in the Northington lobby today. Order forms are due back by December 21st. The student section theme on January 16th for the Varsity Girls and Boys games will be Make a Swish Night. Blue Jay Journal TV won third place and honorable mention in the National Buddies Not Bullies Public Service Announcement Contest. Congratulations to the TV staff for all their accomplishments so far this school year. Learner Chromebooks should not be taken out of the WHS building. Contact Coach Fisher or Coach Pelly for girls' soccer workout information as soon as possible. Madison Skilgen knew where Jordan was on the last Friday show. She tweeted at Blue Jay Journal to win a prize pack. Will you win next? The first person to tweet us where Jordan is in this photo will have a chance to win. spring break. I went to Honduras, specifically San Antonio, Yoro. It's definitely an experience that I would wish everyone could witness because it's definitely it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was a group of doctors, dentists, women's health care professionals, um, and some student volunteers and translators. For eight days we provided medical care. I did um, a lot of the jobs. I fit people for glasses. I would triage people, so I'd check them in. Um, I got to pull a few teeth. Uh, <laughs> the biggest thing for me that I really enjoyed was handing out um, food and clothes and giving people um, a fresh pair of shoes that didn't have holes in them. <laughs> Even though um, I was 16 at the time. They just trusted me even though I wasn't a doctor or I didn't have much experience. They just put all their faith into me and I thought that was really, really interesting. There's this one little girl, her name's Natalie. Um, she sat and she watched me work every day and she, um, she was really patient and she taught me a little bit of Spanish and uh, 
Um, she said she really wanted a Barbie, and I knew we brought some Barbies down to hand out to the kids, and so at the end of the trip, I got to hand her the Barbie, and um, she named it Clarita. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was cute. <laughs> It's called the Washington Overseas Mission. There's a website, it's overseasmission.org. Um, you can apply if you want. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to visit us online at www.bluejayjournal.com. Have, Have a great, great day, day Washington. Washington.